Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. So now we're continuing with the second half of our Marvel United X-Men unboxing, and now we're doing the gold team. Yep. Hopefully you've checked out our other unboxings, such as the blue team, because we found out that the blue team and the gold team go together. Yep. Now this is from an era of the comics I did not read, so this is all new to me. And uh, we're wearing our non-Marvel shirts on purpose here. <laughs> Because we don't have any Marvel t-shirts. I need to get a Marvel t-shirt. Yes, especially since we have more Marvel movies. And we do yes. DC. And I'm kind of more of a Marvel girl anyway. So and I read more Marvel than DC when I was... I need to get like a Rocket t-shirt. collecting. I want Rocket. Yeah, Rocket and Groot. That's who I want. All right, so it looks like the same, same rule book as the other one, basically. Yeah. Other than the table of contents. So... Other, other than the front page. Yeah. I will show this a little bit longer. In case you do want to see it. You can pause if you like. And as you mentioned in the other video, it's like you're competing to defeat the villains. But look at that. Different tokens. You don't have... Yeah. Oh, because it's a different villain. It's a different villain. The other villain had uh, DNA. Right. This is different locks. We don't know who this guy is. Yeah. Maybe it's Al Gore and he has lock boxes. And that was a weird political... Do you remember that? He put it in a lock box? I don't know anything about that. Yeah. That was a weird one. Okay. A weird reference. Yeah, that was really out there. I don't, <laughs> don't know anything about that. Oh, a giant tree. Yeah. Even the trees walked in the movie. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's from Clerks too. <laughs> End of turn. All right, so Chandelar, hmm. Krakor, Limbo, and Hellfire. and Hellfire Club building. Huh. All right, so there you go. Four locations. Okay, and that must be our bad guy, Sebastian Shaw. Sebastian Shaw. He looks like a bad guy. And this is because you can go for uh, different goals. Each team is going for goals. You'll see that it will be split up. Mm -hmm. Like half the uh, civilians, thugs, and uh, location uh, threats. Threats. All right, see Sebastian Shaw. So, if you haven't played, I mean, haven't seen the new rules for X Men United, you can have a character be a villain, and if that's the case, uh, it's one versus many, and the heroes get these tokens to divide up. And the what is the goal? Must see. be a different goal. Huh. Well, you can read that and see for yourself. I don't think it's anything that special. And you get these stands for blue and yellow. You can have you have teams. So here is Shaw right here. Dry fingers. Mm -hmm. Here is Iceman. So would you wonder how? I mean, it's all clear. Would you? How would you paint that? I don't think you would. I mean, you can do an ink wash, maybe. No, I see, I'd have to look it up to see how other people have painted it. I wouldn't paint it though. It's you want to do cool something? You like want to do something? Maybe it's a white wash. I don't so, know. You know, to get white highlights. Who's this guy? Let me see him. Uh, that could be. He has a gun. I think it's it's either Forge or Bishop. I can't tell. It's Bishop. Is it Bishop? Yes. Oh, I see his eyes. Yeah, yeah it's Bishop. And he has. Uh, he takes. Uh, Hicks, no Hudson. Hudson. And he does a knife trick. There you go. On the Salako. And then that's Forge. I guess. I yeah. It looks like Forge. All right. Now it must be Colossus. So good Colossus. Mm-hmm. We did the Phoenix Five where you have a bad Colossus. Yes, we did. And yeah. the last one is Archangel. I love angels. Interesting. Mm-hmm. That's 
pretty cool. As you can see, there are these cards that were in the blue box. Right, so it splits up mm -hmm. the threats, the civilians, and the thugs. Yep. Oops. Okay. And then here's the bad guy, uh, Shaw. Sebastian Shaw. Now notice Sebastian we don't have any... Th uh, Oh, here's the threats. Yeah, I have them. Okay. I just wanted to keep them out of your way while you were putting your stuff down. That's fine. So this is generic. He looks like, like he should be like the 1800s or something with his jacket. Yes, he looks like he's definitely somebody who sailed on ships. Yeah. Almost like a pirate. Uh, more of a, a right? military navy. Oh, okay. But it could be, you know, Civil War era too. Yeah. Not Civil War era, I'm talking about Revolutionary, Revolutionary War era. Yeah. yeah. I don't know anything about this guy. Oh, look who uh, made an appearance. He also Rook. makes an appearance with Magneto too. Black in the base Bishop, set. Black Queen. White Rook. Huh. White king, white queen. So this is, somebody said, hey, why don't we make some super villains based on chess? Okay, let's go with that. That's where I know that. Yes, yeah. chess. So whatever, that's cool. Yeah. I'm sure it all means something. We're going to do a good Colossus Can now. we, uh, you know, make some villains based on backgammon? Uh, no, it would be really hard because there's really no. nothing. <laughs> okay, here's Colossus. Yep, good Colossus. It's got a lot of fights. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. All right, so you have Fastball Special. Move another hero from your location to an adjacent location so he throws you. Mm. That hero shows their hand and deals as many fights there as shown at the bottom of their cards. Nice. So does that mean then you keep your cards secret? I thought you can... I don't remember in the rules if you're allowed to look at each other's cards or not. We do. We do. So maybe that right there says you're not supposed to. Maybe. Okay, organic steel body. <laughs> as long as this card is face up in the storyline, you may ignore one damage during each villain turn. All oh. right. That's not bad. Ignoring one damage. Well, he's got... Uh, this, that metal skin. I don't oh, know if, that's I don't know right. if it's titanium or something else. I do not know. Iceman. Iceman. Spider-Man and his amazing friends with Iceman and Firestar. It's a 1980s cartoon. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's actually decent. Because I did not know where you were going with that. <laughs> where you were going with that. I think we have. You're saying Firestar was made up for the cartoon. Oh, but not in the comic, but I believe Firestar might be in the uh, the bonus Kickstarter. Really? Box. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cryokinesis. Kinesis. Cryokinesis. A word that I've never said before. Okay. Attach a stun token to a to a villain or henchman in your location. Next villain turn, their bam is canceled. We've gotten characters mm -hmm. like that. We have. I think it's because the bad one has that. Maybe. I think so. You cannot take any damage until the beginning of your next turn. You cannot. Okay. It's not bad. If you play it at the right time. True. Archangel time. He's got a lot of movement. Probably flies everywhere. He does. Yeah. Moves around. Yes, he does. Okay, wing shielding. You cannot take any damage until the beginning of your next turn. Techno organic wings. Three fight in adjacent location. Okay. Well, why does he have... So what makes him a mutant then if he has techno wings? I have no idea. Okay. I don't know the guy. Because otherwise he'd be Batman or something like that. True. Or Iron Man. I don't know what the deal is with him. Okay, Bishop. So if you guys know, please let us know. Yeah, 
I mean, if he makes his wings, yeah. why is he a mutant? What, what's his mutant power? I don't know. Okay, energy absorption. Gain one fight token. You may ignore one damage until the beginning of your next turn. Yeah, and this one's different. As long as this card is face up in the storyline, you cannot take any damage dealt from an adjacent locations. Ah, that's nice. That is good. That's your starting card, so you'll better get that out pretty pretty early if you want to. Last one, Forge. Da -da -da. He's not rocking that headband very well. No. It's kind of... It's kind of it looks like it's going to fall down into his eyes. <laughs> yeah. The other part of his character looks pretty cool, except for the yeah. headband. Okay, an intuitive genius. This turn, for each star you use to clear threats, place two stars. Mm, that's not bad. Wow, you can get things done really quick. Yeah, you can. Pick another location. This turn, you may use your your heroics. That's what it is, and fight there. And then there you go. Yep. And then last but not least, when you're ready, is the challenge. Can you give it to me, I sure can. All right. So it's like the other one in the blue set. All right. So that is the uh, gold team. The gold team. All right. So thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. We'll thanks. see you next time. Check out the other videos and subscribe and like. Yep. All right, see bye bye. Ya.